Greetings everybody, I'm America Sharsky, and this is the Florida Everglades. Ooh. They have trams here at the Florida Ever Everglades, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go check this place out. Oh boy, what are alligators up to? Protecting, raising young, blending, nesting, wading, walking, swimming, hanging out. Alligator safety, but uh, more importantly, they be eating. Stay away from the alligators. And apparently there's a little door in the shoe. And then there's there's the tram. I don't know if we're gonna ride that or not yet. I'll keep you guys posted. Look at that water. There's probably a bunch of alligators in there. This is illegal to feed a disturbed wildlife. Five thousand dollar fine. And obviously no walking. Do not approach snakes, alligators, or other wildlife. That should have been obvious, but I guess it wasn't. Boardwalk Bobcat Trail. Maybe we'll run into a bobcat. And over here, it says, right there, boom. I wonder, I wonder what they use this for. It's a little place to sit down. It's a bobcat corner, apparently. But no bobcats. This actually almost reminds me of, uh, we went to Texas and there's a welcome to Texas thing and there's a little walkway we were walking on. It's very, very similar to that. I want to say that was Dallas, but anywho. Oh yeah, there, 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 there's where the tram will be. It's right over there. So yeah, pure clean water. Uh, some explanation of everything around here. There's apple snail. And then there's a... Uh, Endangered snail kite. That's what's way over there. If you look in the top of the water, there's that. And I think this word is pronounced periphyton. Periphyton. And then obviously this one's phosphates. So here I'll pan out so you guys can read the whole thing. But yeah, this place is really cool. Oh. Woo. Oh, yeah. Baby alligators. I know, but it's They're right in the water, but they're really hard to see. Oh, there. Baby. See over there? It's barely in the water. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm trying to see baby alligators, so they're like way hard to see, but they're like, yeah, they're in the water. Yeah, there. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I, I saw it on the way out. Great egrets have a pretty interesting form of camouflage. They primarily feed on fish, and they stand very, very still, waiting for those fish to swim by. Imagine you were a fish looking up on a nice cloudy. Okay. They're at the bottom of the food chain. Anything like a big enough drop. 
great egret, maybe even another alligator. More alligators. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're like under the water, so it's like hard to see, but you can still barely see them. Well, we only have two seasons here, the wet season and the dry season, and during the dry season, when all of the water disappears, many of the plants and animals have certain adaptations to help them thrive. Entire lives, the American alligator is not green, that is propaganda by the University of Florida. The American alligator is black. Now the black skin that they have is an adaptation that helps them absorb heat more efficiently. You see, as a reptile, or a very, very large reptile at that, this animal is cold-blooded. They have to use outside sources to keep them in the temperature. They sit out in the sun for hours on end, being as lazy as possible, one. just trying to absorb the sun's heat. And black and darker colors is much more efficient at absorbing that heat than other colors. If I asked you to think She's of like a right reptile in your head right now, nine times out of ten you'd be thinking of a dark black, oh. dark green, or dark brown animal. That's crazy. Oh, wow. take a look at that. Wow. It's fun to get their pink color for the same reason that a flamingo does. If you get a close look at their bill, it's shaped exactly like the sperm, folks. It is a very, very exciting bird to see. Wow, look at that. And a woodstork, exactly. I don't want to take away from the woodstork that's sitting over there as well. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that is the second roseate spoon bell that I have seen this wow. year. So it's an excellent boot. It's like a solar panel. It's filled with wow. a network of capillaries, blood pumping through it. That's a lot because of Because they sit so close to the surface of their skin, they easily absorb heat. That heat warms their blood and thus warming their bodies. Second half of our journey. Hey, birdie. Hey, birdie. Wow, yeah, look at that one. That's a good size one. Oh. The big alligator there. Now, the very top layer of the American alligator's skin is keratin, the same stuff that your fingernails are made of. Wow. It acts as a form of armor for the alligator. Alligators will bite the territory. They're pretty territorial. Now, they do not fight to the death, however. The males will just fight until one can no longer continue. That one will hang its head in shame and go find somewhere else to live. That is a monster-sized alligator. Okay, we just, we just stopped on our embark. And, uh, yes, we are seeing nothing but alligators out here today. Uh, in about 20 minutes, we gotta get back on the tram. So I'm gonna make this fast. But yeah, lots of alligators, and we're at the Everglades. I will keep you updated on what happens, and I'll see you guys in a second. I will. Wow, look at that. It's like a little, little walkway up, and then there's like another little staircase up there to get to the very tippy top. But uh, yeah, this is the halfway point. The halfway point of our journey today. Look at that. There's the water. And then a nice little lake. To see him, I mean, I can, I can physically see him, but to get to the camera to see him. There's a fish right there. Well, yeah, I, I, I see him floating. He's like right, well, yeah, right there. Oh, there he is. Now I can see him. Hey, little fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Look at all that. It's nature. Wow, that's a big one. Yeah, it's <laughs> <laughs>
Because we already see that. So I'll get a fist cop. Look at that one. Oh, and he's up in here. Wow, he's like literally right there. Yeah, look at that. I got a great shot at this one. He's just chilling right there, literally. When that's how I would always see them as a kid in lakes, just, just hanging out. Oh, I see it! I see it! I see it! Oh. I got it! I got it! I got it! I got a good shot of it. Exactly like the candy those lily pads are called spatter dock. And when they're in big groups like this, they're often connected by one giant race. Is he on the side? No, look. He's right, literally. Oh, yeah. Look at those teeth. <laughs> wow. In the tree there. In yeah, addition to adding about 150 more parking spots, crabfish in their mouths. There it is. Double crested cormorants, if you look very, very closely, have a little foot wow, look at that. of their beak, just as I said that they dipped into the water. Whereas the Anhinga has a completely straight beak. That's one of the dead giveaways in identifying those birds. That's rare. Where'd he go? Oh, he's gone. Now, the Anhinga has many nicknames because of those white and black alternating feathers on its back. Kind of looks like a piano, so we call it the piano bird. When they're swimming in the water, they'll put their head out from the surface and look around. Kind of looks like a snake, so we call it the snake bird. And those back tail feathers they have are pretty long. When they swim in the water, they look like turkey feathers. We call them the water turkey bird, mimicking worms. The fish will come and try and bite them. Oh, we have a bunch of food It's like he's posing for us, too. Yeah. Just a couple more seconds to see if anything happens. But we have to get you back. Oh, there you go. He's eating it now. I don't think he ate it. I think he's making sure it's dead. That was the killing blow right there, spearing it right through the head. Nice. Oh, look at that. Mother Nature is finest. With so many international distinctions, it's easy. What? Okay. So we just got back. There's the tram. Everybody's getting off. Um, well, they're already off. What am I saying? Anyway, thank you guys for enjoying this wizard vlogs. This is the Florida Everglades. I will see you next time for another episode of Wizard Vlogs. Boop! Okay.